On the fishing social media app, Fishbrain, a lot of people are asking me where to bass fish in the Folsom, Sacramento area. They want to be able to catch fish. Well, try this place, Cameron Park Lake. It's in Cameron Park and this place is loaded with bass. Although this place sees a lot of people over here, it is highly pressured, but it's a good trainer lake. If you're not a fish over here, you can pretty much fish any other ponds. In this video, you're gonna see how I work this lake. I'm gonna try different types of baits and see which one puts me on the fish. So as you can see, I'm actually fishing out here on a kayak, but don't let this discourage you that fishing out here on the banks is not good. It is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with a single right here. And let's see what we're gonna do here. See, so you already got a bite out here. This place is loaded with bass, I'm telling you. Yeah, I had one bite earlier, I don't know what happened. As I mentioned earlier, this is a high pressure lake. Oh, nope freaking weeds out here. Man. I'm moving. If I'm not getting bite after a few times, I actually just move. That's just me. Yeah, I had one strike earlier. But that was it. Man. This place is really, really Weedy for my wacky rig right now. Maybe I should just look up a Texas rig. Initially, when I first started fishing out here, I fished with the Texas rig just because it was a lot less weedless than a wacky rig. Wacky rig, man. In these conditions, all bad. Hey, seriously? Yeah, right. Ain't that a bitch. Thought I had something. Man, I seriously gotta find a pattern out here. Nothing's biting. Okay. Senko. Let's try to Senko. Man, it is getting hotter. I'm fucking sweating. Bite. That was a good bite. Should have let it take it. Oh, what's that? Hey, nothing's biting. Fuck. What is going on over there? It's like a little boil or something. Maybe we should try the drop shot here. The thing is, I don't like drop shots in weedy ass areas, but I gotta see what they like out here. Okay, drop shot. Drop shot. Yep. There we go. Drop shot it was. All right. So you can see the importance of trying to switch baits and figure out what's out here. But hopefully this is the juice. See that? First cast on the drop shot. 
You never know what's out here until you try everything. I was trying to Senko, trying my frog, and nothing. So what do you know with the drop shot? Drop shot fishes the bottom, and it looks like the fish are out in the bottom over here. And I don't feel like I'm hitting the bottom because this place has a lot of vegetation. So I'm basically just bouncing my weight on top of the weeds. Oh, look at that right there, a little tiny boil. There you go. How did that happen? Oh, poor buddy. On a drop shot. Woo! Dang. I didn't bring none of my drop shot shit. Fuck. No. I got no drop shot worms. I didn't think it was going to be a drop shot area over here. Okay, I got this one. If that doesn't work then. Damn. No drop shot worms. Well, we know it's going down the bottom. So I'm gonna try something different here because I don't have much drop shot worms and I want to get creative here. Let's try the brush hog. Yeah, what do you think? Okay, we're gonna drop shot the brush hog. Man, how stupid of me. Don't bring any drop shot stuff. Just to show that you can't always assume that the drop shot won't work anywhere. On a brush hog, baby. There you go, buddy. At the end of this video, my GoPro battery died and I didn't bring a backup. I was able to catch around six more fish, four in a drop shot, and I gave my frog and the single another try and I caught fish on both of them. Overall, I had a pretty good day here, fishing around two and a half hours. And yes, I was on the kayak. But don't let this discourage you. Go ahead and fish here on the banks. You will catch fish. Try Senkos, brush hogs, or even a spinnerbait. You will catch fish.